It is crunch time for New Jersey. The state is rushing to roll out sports betting infrastructure after the Supreme Court deemed the federal ban on the activity unconstitutional. Joining us now, Chad Millman, head of media at the Action Network, a site devoted to sports betting and daily fantasy sports. Chad, great to have you with us. Um, your site is a, is a site devoted to content. You can't place bets on that actual site, but are you expecting a pickup in traffic there? I, I think so, yeah. I mean, we've already seen a tremendous amount of interest just in the past 24 hours since the Supreme Court announced its decision to repeal the ban on sports betting. Uh, it's been fantastic for us, and it's going to be fantastic for all sports fans who are interested in engaging in this kind of content and understanding how to get smarter and find different ways to, to look at sports. In terms of the rollout, you know, just because they lift the federal ban doesn't mean the states can go ahead. A lot of states actually have to have a referendum to voters. And so it, in general, a lot of analysts are saying that the states with laws already in place will be the first to roll out. States like a New Jersey, Connecticut, where you are, uh, Mississippi, New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia. What do you expect this rollout to look like? And beyond the states that have laws in place, who are the next states to go? Well, first, I think the rollout is going to be aggressive where people have already passed the laws. You mentioned a few of those states. The challenge is how do you get the infrastructure ready? What are the sort of more detailed regulations? What is the licensing process? Um, the states that you mentioned, plus New Jersey, they're all going to be very aggressive in getting ready. New Jersey, certainly, I've seen some reports from there where they're saying they want to be ready to take bets. Within a month, uh, New York, some state senators have indicated they want to be ready to take bets by the football season. I mean, this is what all these states who have been trying to enact sports laws or who have enacted sports laws in the past couple of years getting ready for this, this moment, um, they want to be ready for football. And so you're looking at states like Illinois, California, some of the larger states where they have some sports betting laws that are ready to be passed. They have legislatures that are in session. Uh, so those are the states that I would think that are coming up next. You know, a lot of the states were looking forward to the revenues associated with sports betting. But is it is it going to be the case of, of what we've seen with the legalization of marijuana? I mean, in California specifically, they thought taxes from pot revenue was going to hit X, Y and Z in the first quarter. And it fell far short because instead of being taxed, people simply bought their pot on the black market. and said it, it drove some activity to the black market. Are you expecting the same thing when it comes to sports betting? I think it's a little bit different with sports mm -hmm. betting. It's hard to say exactly what the tax revenue is going to be. And I do think a lot of people are probably overestimating what that revenue is going to be on a state-by-state -state basis. But you make a great point about the black market. Right now, sports fans who bet have a lot of easy ways to access sports betting. It's one of the reasons why I think sports betting has actually become more popular and why sort of there was a sea change in the public perception of sports betting is because you can access it so easily through digital means, through your phone, through your computer. And so it's something people have become more comfortable with. It's going to be hard to get people to stop doing that just because the states decide, okay, we're going to allow this. There's going to be revenue, there's going to be taxes that the states are going to impose, there's going to be higher commissions. So the states have a real challenge in trying to figure out how can we compete with the already existing marketplace where people have pretty easy access to get to make some bets. And there also could be a dispute between the sports leagues, right, and the casinos. I mean, a fight over how much of a cut a sports league could get. We're sort of in uncharted territory right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is really where the rubber meets the road. I mean, this is about the money, right? And so the leagues have often been saying they're concerned about the integrity of the game. But at the end of the day, I, I do believe they believe they're concerned about the integrity of the game. But uh, I think at the end of the day, this is about how much revenue can everybody drive from sports betting. It's why people have been lobbying to have it legalized to begin with. It's why Adam Silver, who's the commissioner of the NBA, came out four years ago and said he thinks sports betting should be legalized. The challenge for the leagues is, and for a lot of businesses, larger, large-scale businesses, media businesses, they would rather it be federally regulated. They'd rather it be a federal law not state by state. State by state, as we're seeing in the marijuana laws, it makes it messier. Um, it's harder to regulate on a sort of more cohesive way, and it's harder to make money off of that from larger businesses who want to come into the market. All right, Chad, uh, we're going to leave it there. Thanks a lot for your input. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.